Hello, in this video I will show you how to make braids in Blender and how to make curly hair like you can see in here. So let's start with let's start with recreating this from scratch. So I will be using hair tool uh, and uh, this uh, surface will be used for generating the curves. So uh, this is all made of quads and top loop is selected and marked as sharp because this will be in the source of the roots of the hair. So with this mesh selected I use Ctrl Shift H and I generate cars from the grid surface and under the F6, F6 properties I will generate the ribbons, increase the width and then maybe increase the amount to something around 30, 35 and then I will uh, change the seed and I will uh, I will uh, search for some results that I like. Uh, I am searching for something uh, longer and something that won't be covering to the face too much. Uh, okay, let's maybe change the fall off to make the hair strands uh, cover the head better and that looks good enough maybe with soft selection enabled I will correct this and maybe I will select those front hair strands and bend them with the modified mirror tool I will bend this slightly outside. Okay, so now to make the curls more visible, uh, I will want to convert the those to the those ribbons profile to cylindrical shape. So I will edit the curve profile with this button, and now we are into edition mode. Uh, when I edit this profile, you can see that on the left the the look of the hair is changing. So let's say I add two points. Now this is made of four, four, four points. You can see that each uh, profile is now uh, also made of five points. So to make this into the uh, tube, we have to close the scarf. So under the curve properties, I go into enable cyclic checkbox. Now this is closed curve. I will subdivide this one one time and subdivide again, and then smooth a few times uh, to make it more into spherical shape. Uh, okay, after placing this in the middle. Uh, I can accept this change and close the profile with close curve profile. So now when you have this uh, this uh, tube tubes made, I can show you in the material viewport uh, how the curly head are made. So for that we use the randomized curve tilt. And basically under the F6 operation options we have the uh, tilt amount. If, you, if I increase this you can see that the tilt is happening and uh, over the length of the strand. So uh, under the F6 option I want to propagate this tilt mostly on the bottom and it is possible to change with this fall off slider. So when I move this fall off uh, more to the left uh, the tilting is then happening mostly on the bottom of the strands. So that looks uh, okay. So one thing to know is that if you increase the angle uh, quite a lot, like let's say uh, like this, uh, then you will have some ugly artifacts happening. It is because there is not enough resolution on the geometry. So we can in theory go into the curve properties and increase resolution in here. But the problem is that then it is quite heavy, like for games, 
So a better way would be to subdivide those strands uh, locally just at the bottom. Uh, this way we won't have so so dense geometry everywhere. So just to quickly demonstrate this, I go into edit mode, select the tips, subdivide this, like increase the selection and subdivide this like bottom part once. And then I decrease the selection and subdivide the bottom part one more time. And maybe I will decrease the selection with control minus and subdivide the bottom part. So we have subdivided this uh, more and more toward the bottom. I will clear the tilt maybe to, to get rid of the noise. And now after sub subdividing we have this straight edges. So I want to smooth this. So I select the tips and control plus. Uh, I increase the selection and uh, I smooth with smooth curve. I increase the smoothing strength uh, like so around around 14 is okay. So now we have more density on the bottom, less on the top. So it is more optimal. And now let's try again. Uh, randomized curve tilt and you can see that we have uh, way less uh, artifacting happening uh, right now so uh, I will maybe change the falloff to make the curls go more to the roots of the hair strands something like this is okay so more sliders uh, in here like the uniform uh, is making the I rotate in the uniform way, so if I rotate this in 50 degree, uh, it will uh, by default uh, rotate 50 degrees just on the ends of the hair. But if I select the uniform to 100%, then the, the rotation in 50 degree will happen over whole length of the strand. Of the strand. Uh, randomize will basically change uh, the randomization strength of the tilt. So if this is randomized set to zero, all strands will be rotated 200, uh, 2000 degree. But if I uh, increase the randomization, then some strands will be rotated less and some strands will be rotated more. Uh, so in extreme example, if I set this to 100, then some strands will be not rotated at all. And with the noise seed, you can change which strand will get the more or less rotation. Okay, so we have now the tubes with some randomization and with the car, uh, tilting happening, but it doesn't look like curly hair. For that, we have to change back the uh, tubes uh, to change it back to the more like semicircular shape. This way the hair strands will look more like curly hair. So let's edit the curve profile again. And I will disable the checkbox in the cyclic setting to and now delete a few points. And after deleting those points, you can see that those hair strands are looking more like, uh, like curly hair. So that's basically uh, that's basically how you do this curly hair style. You should obviously create and manually tweak some those strands to cover more of the head, uh, to cover the holes, and to reduce like the clipping. Like for example, one clipping is happening in here, so I can select the strand and move it slightly to the left and uh, this way you can quickly quite quickly create uh, curly hair uh, the next thing i wanted to show is how to create uh, braids so for braids to work you have to select and have one uh, curve uh, active so i will use one curve from the bottom uh, from the back i will duplicate this curve and separate so now uh, I will reset the tilt with Alt 10 and I will smooth maybe this somewhat. And because it is quite dense, I don't need so many points. 
So we will resample this and under the F6 uh, I will use 5 points. This should be enough. Uh, okay, so this this curve will be guiding uh, the braid on the back. Uh, I will maybe delete the bevel object and reduce the depth, bevel depth. Okay, so when you have this one curve selected, you just use generate braids and that's it. Basically, you have now braids generated. Under the F6 property, you can increase the frequency something, something like this is okay. Uh, there are some options like braid length is automatically should be adjusted to the length of the curve, but if by some accident it doesn't work you can increase and decrease the length of the braid manually the points per cycle is basically defining how many how many points the the hair strands are made of the for higher quality you want higher amounts of points but it is also more polygon frequency is adding more or less uh, braids and the radius is increasing decreasing the radius of the whole braid and individual strands can be adjusted with this strand radius uh, so yeah something like this and the last parameter uh, the fall off will let you change the uh, size of the uh, the size of the braid over the length of the braid so you can make just the last part uh, like smaller and that's it basically uh, because I have like I read it, some material of the hair created previously, the hair tool uh, automatically assigned this material to the braid. Uh, one more thing is that if you edit the source curve of the braid, it will deform the braid itself. So you can like uh, twist this, you use Alt S to scale this, make it bigger, smaller, anything you want. And if you want to then adjust the length, you just select this uh, braid, generate uh, braid uh, again, and just increase the length. So now it will be, it will, you can manually adjust the length to match it the new, the new length of the driver curve. So yeah, that's it. I think, I hope you like this and uh, see ya.